you doing, hard worker? Good. I'm gonna have this together by tonight. If this doesn't work, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, do it I again? Think, I think you either have to do it again or junk the car. Yeah, I agree. Welcome back to another episode of Build and Drive. Today, we're gonna take all the accessories that we took off the original motor and slap them back on this engine. Um, we have to do the water pump, thermostat, AC unit, power steering pump, belt and so on and so forth, all the piping, um, etc. So, I mean, I still have to swap over the fuel rail I'm going to replace this piece on the vacuum line, whatever this is. Let's just get into it. I mean, this one looks brand new, so we're just going to keep it. I have the new one right here. This looks brand new, which is good for us. So let's just mount it here. And then I believe you put the AC unit next. Good. Can you f bring me, I think this is a 10 millimeter, the f big bolt, they look like that. Where is it? It's in the blue case there. I think it's this one. Yeah. Thank you. And this is gonna be, I'm gonna have this together by tonight. So you have to take the old parts off that one? I took it off and I'm putting it on here now. Wow, that thing looks so much smaller now. Yeah. Man, this shit better work. If this doesn't work, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, do it I think, again? I think you either have to do it again or junk the car. Yeah, I agree. Because if, if it's not working, you don't know what's not working and I doubt you're going to want to take this to a shop. Nope. Or, and I doubt a mechanic's going to want to touch it after you've been mucking around with it. No, they would want to. They would want to make money off of me. <sighs> what am I doing? What do you mean? They're probably so busy. That mean? last mechanic you found out in the middle of oozing in didn't even have time for you. Yeah, well, he should have said, sorry, I don't have time for you. That's what I'm saying. No one's going to want to touch this. This is a massive job. Well, fingers crossed. It will work. You did a really good job. So. I had this extra power steering pump from the other engine, but it seems to have this active steering module on it, and this one doesn't. My old power steering pump is making some whiny noises when it first uh, 
turns on and warms up. So I wanted to replace it, but it looks like we can't. So I'm just gonna put this one back on the shelf. And I guess this one is gonna go on eBay later. Try to recoup some of our cost because um, this project is getting fairly expensive. Uh, yeah, any of this uh, information is useful to you. Don't forget, you can hit the like button and subscribe. That's free. Really does help the channel. Um, but let's get let's get back into this. I'm just gonna put in the old power string pump. It sounds okay, um, but it does make some whining noise. Maybe some new fluid will help with that. Help with that, but I doubt it because I had replaced the fluid before, and. It didn't seem to do anything. Oh, power steering pumps on the other side. And I'm not too sure the torque specs, so we're just gonna snug them up. Because I don't wanna break these aluminum bolts. They seem to break pretty easily. Next we have the alternator. This one was working fine, no issues. So we're gonna slap it back on. Just fits right here in this bracket. Accessories are back on. Uh, let's start doing the piping. How do you get this thing in? Damn, it's not in. See there? It's not in. Okay, so I finally got it on. Um, those O-rings didn't work. They were too big. Uh, I don't know why, it just didn't fit. I hope this doesn't leak, but um, I used this O-ring, 35 by five by 35 millimeter, uh, 11537545278 BMW part number. I don't know if that's the correct, what, I don't know if this is supposed to be used for that, but it fit. The other ones were all too big. They were warping within the, the, they were warping inside and not seating straight. So I hope that's the right O-ring for the job. Um, if not, whatever. But um, let's keep moving forward here. That goes the radiator. That's in the car. What's this for? This is the plug for the for the water pump. I don't remember what went right here. I guess it's still in the car. Oh, the AC line. That's right. All right. I think I'm gonna lower this down, and we're gonna do the valve cover gasket and then we'll do the fuel lines and all that stuff. All 
right now with that we got the engine on the ground um, we're gonna do the valve cover gasket everything is I think ready to go hopefully uh, this is the Victor Ryan's head gas uh, valve cover gasket the part number for BMW it's not here well there there's the part number for Victor Ryan's um, yeah let's cut this open So it feels like rubber over plastic. I'm going to assume which side goes up. Well, according to how the the shape of the cylinders are, that middle piece goes in like that, and then this piece, I guess you can only put it on one way, this. There's a dowel there to line it up, and a dowel there to line it up. And I don't think you need to add any RTV or anything. Um, I'm just gonna Google this to double check. well clean this all off looks a lot better um, kind of wire brushed it a little bit uh, so it's ready to go back on I replaced the Valvetronic motor seal but I think you have to have this on so that you can line the seal up so fingers crossed we don't have to go back in here anymore you know everything's torqued everything looks good hopefully we have no issues Line it up with that dowel. Line it up with this dowel. I hope the gasket down there was lined up. <laughs> now let's put these guys back in. You shouldn't reuse your bolts, but um, I kind of want this car done ASAP. So we're gonna gently reuse these bolts. It's, you should torque them to seven, seven newton meters. I think, and then 90 degrees. Seven newton meters and then a 90 degree turn so I'm going to estimate that right now It feels about right. I'm gonna take my plugs out of that motor and we're gonna take a look at them. Or I can just clean up these guys. So I had four uh, brand new spark plugs laying around. Hopefully, I bought these on Amazon. I hope they're real. I should actually Google that. There's a video on fake spark plugs from Amazon. 
Otherwise, I'll just clean up these Baru plugs. I've never heard of Baru before. Or I'll take my NGKs out of that engine. These are the ones I bought on Amazon. And this is a set of four that I picked up at Advanced Auto Parts. So, this box. So, part number one is Japan. Alright, so, go ahead and open them up. There's the larger box from Amazon. See, this one's got a piece of cardboard around the electrode, and this one's got a piece of clear plastic. So we're gonna take that off. Okay, well, supposedly these spark plugs are fake, <laughs> um, but we're gonna run them anyway. I haven't had any issues in the past. I've done 25,000 kilometers on the other Amazon um, spark plugs, so. Or should I say the other NGK spark plugs from Amazon? I mean, they look fine to me. So we're just gonna huck these in. And they look good to me. Just so that we're starting off fresh. And I'm gonna grab two plugs from the other engine. From cylinder one is really good. Maybe cylinder two as well. So as you can see, cylinder one spark plug is perfect or pretty much perfect. Um, almost or pretty much brand new. I'm just gonna scuffle with some sandpaper if I can find some right there. And we'll throw this one in. I got the Valvetronic motor here. Just clean it off a bit. I put the new seal in. There's a metal plate behind here, so you just want to tap it a little bit so that it adheres to that surface and this isn't you know coming out. Feels good. So now we're gonna put this guy in. And it goes down. Now what you want to do is, there's a little Allen key that fits in there. I'm pretty sure you can rotate it. I guess on this one you can't. All right. So then how do we do this? So I just rotated a bit. Now we'll put the bolts back in. Okay, I'm just gonna bolt this all up and move on to the next thing. All right, so I think what we're gonna do next is um, fuel rail and then we're gonna drape the, the wiring harness on here and run all the wires everywhere. And then we're going to swap out this piece here. And then I think we're gonna put it back up in the air and yeah, we're going to um, run all the wires, junction box. Um, okay, let's do the fuel rail. So take off the fuel rail. It's just some uh, 10 millimeter bolts.
Okay, this is where I kind of screwed up last time. What you want to do is evenly pull the injectors out and not kind of yank one side and then the other side because you can damage the O-ring underneath. And they're in there. And I don't want to pry on them. Maybe I have to again. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pry a little bit on the, not the injector themselves, but where, where it mounts. And just gently, ever so gently pry them up. There we go. They pop out just like that. Has some fuel in there still. I mean, these look okay. I'm just gonna clean them up. So I hope they're all right. I mean, the car ran perfectly with no issues, so. Just clean these up with some brake clean and put a little bit of oil around the o-ring Gonna put a little bit of oil on the seals. All right. And then we're gonna put these in. And I know that this part faces towards the back of the motor because um, the fuel line goes to the back of the motor. So we got cylinder one, cylinder two. We're gonna gently feed that in. So there's a little pop. I don't know why there's tons of fuel coming out of there. And then, get the bolts back in, and the fuel rail will be done. All right guys, well, that's it for today. It's another late night. And I am tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. Um, that's it for this episode. Tomorrow, I'm going to throw in the starter. I'm going to take a look at the intake. We're going to drape the wiring on and uh, get everything wired up. And then, yeah, I was hoping to be able to put the engine back in the car, but... Uh, I don't know about that yet. We'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If any of this has been useful or helpful to you, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to join along on this adventure and learn a lot more about these awesome N52 engines. Anyway, hope you guys have a good night. And thanks again for watching. Bye.